This video addresses the fifth grade math standard of long division. <coughs> Don't panic. Before we begin how to do long division, let's talk about what is division. Well, division is whenever you take a group of something, a total, and you split it evenly. For example, if I have 48 something, 48 pizzas, pieces of candy, people, doesn't matter, and I split it into six groups, each group is going to have eight in it. Or, if I need groups of six, I'm going to have eight groups. The two numbers on the bottom are actually interchangeable. They will either tell you how many groups or how many in each group. So long division is a process where you're trying to figure out how many of the divisors you can get out of the dividend. Or in this problem, how many groups of five we can get out of 6,825. Well, most of us don't know our five times tables up through 6,825, so instead we use long division to figure it out. What you have to remember is that really you tackle this one digit at a time. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna cover up everything except for the first digit. So now it's just saying, how many fives can I get out of six? Now, is this just six? Well, no, it's actually 6,000. So from a mathematical standpoint, we're really saying, how many groups of 5,000 can we get out of 6,000? But for simplicity's sake, we're just gonna ignore the zeros and pretend it's just five and six. So, how many fives can be taken away from six without going over? It's okay if you have leftovers. So, in this case, five can be taken away from six one time, and you put your answers up above. Make sure it's directly above the number you're working on. So, five can be taken out of six once, and there's going to be leftovers, and that's okay. And so, the journey begins. The one starts up top, and has to travel all the way around to finish this step of long division. We stop here where I call multiplication corner. And that's our first step. So one times five is five because we said we could take five out of six one time. We put the results below our dividend. And so here's where we actually take it out. So we have six thousands or just six minus the five giving us one leftover. Once you're down here, in order to start another round, you have to bring down the next number. And actually, you're not done until you've brought down every number in the dividend. So now it's a new problem. How many times does five go into our new dividend, which is 18? Well, five, 10, 15. It goes into it three times. So we put that directly above the eight. And so our journey begins. We go ahead, start up here. We can't go through it, so we have to go around it. Three travels around, stops at multiplication corner. Three times five is 15, and we put the results below our dividend. Now we're actually gonna take away those groups of five. So 18 minus 15 gives us three leftovers. Remember, leftovers are okay. Are we done? Hell no, you're not done until you drop down every single number in the dividend. So now it's the two's turn. We have a new problem. How many times is five? go on to our new dividend, which is 32. Five goes in 32, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Six times. And so our journey begins. Six times five is 30. Take it away, we're left with two. And we're not quite done because we have one more number, we need to drop it down. So now we have a new problem. How many times does five go into 25? Well, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, it goes into it five times. Five times five is 25, and we're left with zero. So, 6,825 divided by five is 1,365. What happens if the number is not part of our times table, like 56? The process is exactly the same. You start with one digit. The only difference is, since we can't count by 56 as easily, we do something called side math. When I say side math, I mean math that's not directly this problem. And I'll show you what I mean in a second. So let's go ahead and go through it. How many times does 56 go into eight? Well, the answer is zero. So I'm gonna put a zero up there as a placeholder. And I could go through the whole process, but instead, since I know the result's gonna be an eight, I just move on. So if it's a zero up top, I just kind of move over to the next digit. And now it's 85. Well, how many times does 56 go into my new dividend, which is 85. Uh, we all know it's one, but here's what I mean by side math. Let's say you were unsure. 56 times one gives me 56. Does that fit? Yeah. 
always try one larger than what you think it is. So, 56 times 2. 112, which is way too big. So, 56 goes into 85 once. And so the journey begins. 1 times 56, there's multiplication corner, is 56. And we take that group of 56 away. And we're left with 29 leftovers, which is okay. Let's go ahead and move over. And remember, every round starts by dropping down the next part of the dividend. Here's where side math is a little more helpful. How many times does 56 go into 291? Well, I don't know. Let's go ahead and guess and check. Guess and check is a key part of this. So let's try 56 times 5. 6 times 5 is 30. So it's 280. Ooh, I'm almost there. I'm guessing it's five, but we always try one larger than what it is. So 56 times six. So it's 336. We know that's too big. So the answer is five. And so the journey begins. Five times 56 is 280. Take that group away. We're left with 11, 11 leftovers. Our next round starts, we drop down the two, 112. So earlier, we did 56 times two, we got 112, so we know the answer is two. Two times 56 is 112, and we're left with zero. Okay, two takeaways. One, work on one digit at a time. And two, use side maths. <laughs>